les gens, moi, c'est sympa. Et qui se veut genre face placée Ben, qui se met de deux côtés. Can we to ask have to say hello? People, get ready. the
I saw through clouds at morning, tinged with the rising sun, and in the dawn they floated on and mingled into one. I thought that morning cloud was blessed, it moved so sweetly toward the west. I saw two summer currents float, flow smoothly to their meeting and join their course in silent force, in peace each other greeting. Calm was their course through banks of green while dimpling eddies played between. When the world was young, that same hand of providence moved upon two lives, indeed a beautiful garden, and they too became one. It's a crowning moment in life when two young people who are strangers to one another are drawn together by an irresistible attraction so that their lives cannot be henceforth divided by time or space. When in a single woman he sees the dream of purity and sweetness which is ever stirred in his soul, and when in a single man she finds a rest and satisfaction which her heart has unconsciously been seeking. It is a revelation from above and makes all things new. It is the hand of providence and annuls every argument of worldly fate or fortune. So it has been God's plan through the ages and lies at the basis of all human happiness and social well-being. If you wish your new estate to be touched with perennial beauty, cherish those gracious visions which have made spring within your hearts during the days of your engagement. You must never forget nor deny the vision you once saw. You must resolve that it be not blotted out by the commonplace experiences of life. Faults may appear which were once hidden in the golden mist. Excellencies may seem to fade in the glare of the noonday sun. Still remain confident and hopeful, and amid the reality of present imperfections, believe in the ideal. You saw it once, it still exists. It is the final truth. Love never fails. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Now abides faith, hope, and love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. We come together, therefore, in this sacred moment because of your sincere love for each other and because we believe it is in keeping with the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are the giver of every good and every perfect gift. You are the author of life and love and happiness. We thank you for the love that you have placed in the hearts of these two young people for each other. And as they stand upon the threshold of this new experience, we pray that they may have your blessings and as they walk down life's pathway together, Grant that each experience may serve to bind them closer to each other and more aware of your presence. And now for our marriage vow, vow. Bernard, do you take Karen to be your lawful wedded wife, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish her, and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the responsibilities that a husband owes unto his wife, so long as you both shall live. Wait. Karen, do you take Bernard to be your lawful wedded husband, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish him, and that forsaking all others for him alone, you will perform unto him all the responsibilities that a wife owes her husband, so long as you both shall live. You will give... Uh, your race to each other as an expression of your love and a symbol of your marriage. Wear them in trust as you grow individually. Wear them in love as you grow together. This string has give, and give you, Karen, is a pledge of my abiding loyalty and amour.
I give you this ring, Bernard. I give you this ring, Bernard. As a pledge. As a pledge. Of my abiding loyalty and love. Of my abiding loyalty and love. And now, on the basis of your mutual vows and by the authority that is given to me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I'm happy to pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And as the hours fade away into memory divine, God bless you always day by day with happiness for thee and thine. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thank you. Bernard, get my face. Show me. Safe takes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Repeat, repeat, slow, slow motion, slow motion, slow motion. <laughs>